the more plants per acre you're going to plant, the thinner that stock is going to be. And what we're talking about here today is a couple of things. Number one, what's the diameter of that stock? Measure that diameter where you're having issues or where you've planted a super high population versus where you're having no issues with lodging or green snap and maybe where you planted a little bit lower population, you can see that difference there. And I would say this, if you do want to push population a lot, you now have to push your fertility a lot. Yet, we talk to farmers all the time that say, well, I'm gonna cut back on fertilizer. Fertilizer is really expensive. No, you can't do that. Think about it just like if you had eight kids and they're all sitting around the table and you've got one plate of food for them, how well is that gonna go over? Now, if you had four kids instead of eight and the same plate of food, well, everybody gets twice as much food. It's the same thing going on in your field. So if you're going to increase your population, and I know it doesn't seem like much if you wanna go from 30,000 to 33,000. We've had a lot of people do that, but that's a 10% increase. That means automatically you have to increase your fertility level by 10%, but that doesn't just mean you can put 10% more on. You're gonna need more than that. What I'm saying is you need to boost your soil level by 10% which may mean you need to increase your applied fertility rate in year one of that population increase by 20 or 30%.